Howdy folks, Kiwi here, and welcome back to an incredibly frustrating section of this video game. We're in Heresy 6-1, and I'm recording right where we left off, right in the thick of the fucking two hideous masses. Um, I, I, I finally got them both. Finally got them both at the end of the last episode, only to die to Swords Machine anyway. Uh, because getting health back in this game is very difficult. I can't even, I can't ever hit the 5 key while I, when I need to. Because it's too far away while I'm also, like, physically moving. Usually it's my middle finger that, that goes for the number keys. And I can very briefly, very painstakingly hit four, but not five. Anyway, this is very difficult for me. And this is on standard difficulty. So, you know, it's worse. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. Oh wow, I couldn't even punch the guy to get out. You know what, just kill me. I, I've already lost. There we go. All right. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right, I guess I'm dead again.
Okay, let's just fucking calm down for a second. I have 37 health. I'm at Brutal, which is alright. I've killed the Swords Machine, and I'm possibly surviving. We'll find out, though. Oh, thank fucking Christ. If I died there, I'd be so furious. Oh, God. I can't handle shit like that one. Uh, I didn't even kill everything, apparently. 50 restarts! Fuck my entire existence! <coughs> Alright, now for the boss. This is Gabriel 2. We didn't get enough. Let's go, man. I'm ready for this shit. Limbo. Lust. All gone. With gluttony soon to follow. Your kind know nothing but hunger. Urged all life on the upper layers. And yet they remain. <sighs> As to you. Nah, I'm fucking fine, man. I'm fine. You've taken everything from me, machine. And Maybe you should stop giving a fuck about what your machines are doing. Alright. My dude, I'm just here. Don't fucking blame me for your shit. Alright, here we go. Gabriel 2, my boys. Let's go and do this. Alright. Hey, gay, bye, Ben. Yay! Ooh. Machine, I will cut you down. Break you I should make this the second one. I will grind you down until the very spots cry for mercy. My hands shall relish, ending you here and now. Right, here we go, baby. It's all about the timing. You can't just spam punch. Ow, you can't dodge that one. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I almost had that guy! <laughs> this is way better than the last fight. Oh my god! Damn, no timing on that those punches. We we just fucking losing. Ah! Oh well, shit. <laughs> Hang on, we gotta re wait for that one to reload. We gotta get our first cheap punch off on him. Hang on. Hang on. We got this. There it is. That was supposed to be the R key. Alright, here we go. Here we go. I don't have a gun out. I keep not hitting R. All right, yeah, I keep not hitting R and instead hitting the four key.
You're gonna get a lot of this type of fighting. Damn, I gotta figure out the timing on this thing. Hang on. Not a single time did I actually properly reflect any of that. God, the timing is insane, and I'm bad. <laughs> Turn the lights back off. <laughs> that thing moves a lot slower than I thought it would. Fuck, I went from like full health to no health on that one. I'm freaking out the timing, okay? This isn't something that comes naturally to me. Why don't I have shotgun out? I hit two so many times throughout that. Where the fuck is my shotgun? God damn it. Well, I finally got my shotgun out. Hitting the two key is so impossible. So, taking the mental fortitude to be able to decide to switch weapons is fucking insane at these speeds. Like, because I have to keep track of both turning, moving, fucking continuously punching at specific times, figuring out what the times even are, being like, oh no, I gotta do that, and then I gotta... I gotta assume that I'd already hit the, uh, the two key by that point to get shotgun out. But at no point am I actually succeeding at that. I could probably scroll wheel now that I think about it. Even are you? Which dimension are you in? That's basically what it feels like.
Fuck you! Twice. <sighs> I've only known the taste of victory, but this taste is... Oh. Is this my blood? <laughs> I've never known such... such relief. I... I need some time to think. We will meet again, machine. May your woes be many, and your days few. So I get the feeling, um, from the first fight he was strong, but he was like, oh, I'm, I'm the divine savior or whatever. In the second fight he was real pissy, and then like partway through he started laughing, so he's like, oh shit, this is just fucking dumb. <coughs> I think in the third fight, um, he's going to be, like, super strong because he, like, sees me as an actual worthy adversary. And it will, like, you know, not underestimate me. He'll fucking... In, in the, the final showdown, the final boss, Gabriel 3, I'm fairly certain is going to be the most challenging thing imaginable. And he'll be like, yeah, this is fun. This is great. I finally get to actually do a thing for once. Thank you, machine, for all the whatever... And then at the end, he's going to say the same, like, woes as many line, but, like, in reverse. So, like, may your days be many and your woes be few, sort of thing. Oh, fuck that fight. I'm bad at games that are hard. And this is standard, my dude. Keep that in mind. Hit Gabriel into the ceiling. Cool, I'll fucking take it. I have no idea when or how I did that, but there you go. Oh, all right. Silence. Introspection. How many had he killed? Had he ever thought to count? How much cruelty did he embody, and to what end? How many did he condemn to hell, and who did it benefit? Two defeats at the hands of the machine had changed, Gabriel. The world of the once supposed will of God was now shattered, and only... He was left to put the pieces back together. Look, he's just chilling at a campfire. They collected before the light of a dying fire that fresh fuel couldn't sustain. This new light showing the truth to Gabriel. The pieces never fit together to begin with. The supposed council of the people who boasted a god that wasn't there. Gone. Oh, okay. Vanished. The council still chased after the light of God's fire, their memory of its words and will grown twisted and warped, and the rest of the aimless masses of heaven follow their footsteps. The angels still act in the Father's name, but his kingdom has changed. Now the fire was dying, sputtering out as the heat failed to gain purchase. Gabriel looked upon the embers with a perfect clarity. He drew his blade and held it in contrast to the dying light. In his reflections, he saw a weapon reborn, no longer wielded by the will of another, but his own. He knew words alone would never sway the masses. He chose to do something drastic. I do find it interesting that in, um... Hang on, I'll continue reading this in a moment. It's very interesting, but, like, I find it very interesting the, uh, the three main... Uh, properties of media that I know that have explored um, heaven in any concept that isn't just, ooh, it's pretty and shiny, um, have been uh, The Good Place, um, Has Been Hotel, and this game. And every single time, it shows some sort of broken system in some way. It shows some sort of, like, people taking things in their own hands and, you know, it's killing people and all this sorts of stuff. It's interesting to me how consistent that seems to be when you explore from a both literary and metatextual standpoint of like heaven not as a concept but as a physical embodiment of a real location and like real people in that location how does it function and in in the past people never questioned they're just like oh it's just good don't think about it but they also didn't question a lot of things it wasn't until, not just like recently, but very recently, um, in the last specifically like 10 years, people started questioning, well, if it's all good, how is it good? Why is it good? How did it get to be good? 
they don't just unquestioningly believe that heaven is all good. The, the, I mean, it, it would have to function in some way. It would have there. There is maybe not human souls, but certainly, you know, living creatures of some variety. Maybe maybe people that once were maybe you know things that have always been there. But like they need to exist in some way. They need to they need to mentally and socially function in order for heaven to be a perfect afterlife. But how? How does that work? And why is why is the rest of the system the way it is? And I've always been very interested about that. Well, not always, but I've definitely recently in the last 10 years been very interested about that. I don't know when the good place came out. In my mind the last 10 years is since 2010 because I'm old. Um so yeah, I know it's very interesting seeing uh, like it explored in Ultra Kill. This is this is a good. Uh, I'm not sure genre is the right word, but like conceptual thing, you know. Death stains the arena, auditorium. The littered corpses of the once mighty council now strewn against its surfaces. Their last gas of breath dripping down the this dissident blade of Gabriel's sword. The last counselor, now backed up to a wall, that's not a wall, scrambles for words between panicked breaths of, as death approaches with measured steps. Well, wait. Y you can't do this. Our status forbids it. This is treason, heresy, murder. <coughs> we are the supreme authority. Our law commands you. And this is another thing that's come up. It's just like the idea of and maybe not in like those three properties but in general like there there's uh and, and in 40k actually this came up i don't know much about 40k but like the idea of this council that speaks for the the divine holy one or whatever um but they're either dead or comatose or non-existent or whatever they just do whatever they want the, the to the lesser people heaven is what they dictate it to be so you know that's a whole thing we are the supreme authority. Our law commands you. You command nothing. Your words hold no power over me or anyone else. Lest you truly believe you can talk my blade back into its sheath. I can't do the Gabriel voice. I'm sorry. But the people are on our side. The citizens of heaven know that we are just. The masses only follow you out of fear and desperation. I will show them here there is uh, them there is nothing to be afraid of for there is no species nor origin now that's what it says vested rank or holy status that will stop the sharp edge of a sword we all bleed the same blood and the cushions of your thrones have made you weak and impotent please gabriel see reason the council follows the will of the father you seek to go against our creator? Face it, brother. God is dead. The fire is gone. You're chasing phantoms. God, that's good writing. Gabriel's silhouette now towers over the council, her shadow cast upon a soon lifeless corpse. He raises his sword for the final cut as the crying mess on the floor stammers its final feeble argument. But, but the father's light. Without me, you cannot hope to reconnect with it. If you kill me, you'll be dead within a matter of hours. I know. A clean, silent cut glides through the counselor's neck, severing his spine with elegance and ease. His head falls onto the marble floor, the rest of his body following soon after. Bereft of status, but brimming with purpose, Gabriel gave a final message to the angels amassed at the gates of the auditorium before leaving heaven for the very last time. His arm outstretched without a word the people saw. In the silence, the message rang out to the far ends of the cosmos. Yes! Godfist Suicide is such a fucking name. Shit, alright, hang on, hang on. Uh, because this is actually new, right? This is new content. I'm not going to get into it this episode, but this is new. Um, as of, I think, like a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. It was certainly recently that uh, 
uh, not act, but chapter seven came out. Um, violence. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But hang on, I gotta, I gotta grab the disc here. Hang on. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, okay. We good? Okay. Put that in. I. Uh, it's difficult for me to play that bit. <laughs> I don't know what specific sounds I'm hearing at the given time. <laughs> Alright, here we go, baby. Did I get enough? The answer is no. Also, there's another thing here that I haven't gotten yet. Oh, God, it's white. Why is it so very white? very white and bright. By the way, I will be continuing this series uh, once the new like, uh, pfft, once the new chapters release. Violence. Garden of the Forking Paths. Okay. Can't go that way. Go that way or this way. Oh. I can only go this way. Oh god, I've seen some of this. They, like, move in a creepy way. Oh, goody. Alright, but that's actually the end of this episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to say thank you guys so much for watching. Next episode, I'm going to explore violence. Because I haven't been already. It's, this is clearly, that that's that's that goes without saying. I know that'll have to be for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I'm Kiwi. I'm going to do so. Beautiful day. I love you all. Goodbye.